Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove background noise from your audio when you are recording inside of Open Broadcaster software. So, first off, make sure that you're using the right microphone. Go to File, Settings, and under Audio, make sure that the microphone you actually want to select is selected here. If you're on a laptop, your laptop might have a built-in microphone, so just check that real quick. So once you're sure you're on the right microphone, go to the Audio Mixer in the main panel for OBS. Click on the little settings icon, go to filters, and in filters, you're going to want to hit the plus button, go to noise suppression, and this noise suppression filter is going to have one setting, which is the suppression level. If you want to maximize that, then take the suppression level and set it to negative 60. Now, by default, when you add in the noise suppression, it's going to be enabled, but if you want to enable or disable a filter, you click on the little icon to the left of the name. So I take my suppression level and I set that to negative 60. So as soon as I enable my noise suppression, and I'll enable the original one up here, you can hopefully hear that the amount of background noise that comes through my microphone is significantly decreased just like that. Now other alternatives exist to this such as Reaper filter which you can download the plugins online for free and try playing around with that but I've actually found that just using the noise suppression filter that's built into OBS gets me pretty decent results at the moment. So that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, you might still be able to hear some background noise. I'm intentionally recording in a very noisy environment for the purposes of the video but let's go ahead and disable the noise suppression again and you should be able to hear a lot more stuff. And then if I enable the noise suppression, uh, a lot of that goes away. So it's a very helpful tool. It's super simple, easy to use. And that's pretty much going to be it for this video. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in my future video content.